Chickasaw Country. An amazing place for your family to explore the rich native culture of the Chickasaw people, learn about Chickasaw history, try some traditional cuisine, and even catch a glimpse of the majestic bison in the National Park. Located between Oklahoma City, Oklahoma and Dallas, Texas, Chickasaw Country is a hidden gem in the heart of South Central Oklahoma. Chickasaw Country encompasses more than 7,600 square miles, including the 13 counties that comprise the boundaries of the Chickasaw Nation. The town of Sulphur, Oklahoma is home to the Artesian Hotel and the amazing Chickasaw Cultural Center, a destination that is sure to satisfy any family looking for an enriching getaway. Welcome to Chickasaw Country. I'm Colleen Kelly and this is Family Travel. In this episode of Family Travel, we'll show you all that Chickasaw Country has to offer, like sampling some authentic Native American dishes, joining a stomp dance demonstration, learning a few Chickasaw phrases, tasting a fried pie, trying my hand at the traditional Chickasaw game of stickball, and walking on top of a waterfall known as Little Niagara. My name is Colleen Kelly, and when I was single, I lived abroad and traveled the world. Then I became a parent and wondered, how would I ever travel again? So I set out to find a new way to travel and get back to exploring the world family style. I'm here to guide you on how to get the most out of your family vacation. Pack your bags and join me, Colleen Kelly. We're going on vacation. Funding provided by... This show is sponsored by State Farm. When the unexpected happens, State Farm is here to help life go right. We begin our trip at the Chickasaw Cultural Center, where visitors can absorb all things Chickasaw. This 184-acre campus has everything from an exhibit hall at art galleries to food, gardens, and traditional games, as well as a Chickasaw village. My first stop of the day, a Chickasaw Stomp Dance demonstration. We danced from the beginning, we say, of time. That was kind of our church back in the day. It's important to us as a value of being Native American, participate in the language and dances. It kind of makes you, to me, more of a Chickasaw. Each stomp dance is first presented by the Chickasaw dancers only. But after their initial demonstration, they welcome everyone. The stomp dance demonstration, visitors are invited to join the dance, so let's join them. The men sing the stomp dance songs as a call and answer, while the women support the beat of the dance with shakers made from box turtle shells, deer toes, or cans. Because they're totally different than the way we step. Awesome. They're about two to one to our steps. Oh, you know, man, so women do more of the work. They do more of the work. <laughs> Uh, the word I was told by an elder to show everybody love, that gives them a, a feeling that they should be there with us and come back and see us all the time. This is a special eye-opening activity for you and your family to experience together. Next up, a traditional sport totally new to me. Okay, stickball was, uh, was played a long time ago to settle disputes between neighboring tribes. Modern day lacrosse evolved from our game. It was said that we didn't go to the field of battle, we took it to the field of stickball. One good thing about the game was, was after that game was played, it was said that whatever was being disputed was left on the field, never to be brought up again. I should my kids and, play stickball. Oh well, yeah. Okay. Now the point system is, the fish counts as two, and the red part underneath counts as one. Way up there? Mm -hmm. We're gonna play up to uh, five points, and so if you hit the fish three times, you win the game. Like oh, that. you make it look so, easy. But I have I've to been, use my arm. Yeah, you I can can't use, use a stick. You can, you can use it like playing softball or, or baseball I was a, I was or anything a, like that. I was that, a so. swimmer and a track. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna give it my best shot. Okay. I'm All ready. Right. Ready to go? I'm ready. All right, let's go. All no right. sticks. No sticks. We were divided into two teams, the boys versus the girls. Two, three, go! And we're off. Oh yeah, I'm supposed to go after him, right? Okay.
dangerous. <laughs> go, 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 go! Uh -oh. <laughs> Woo! Girl power! I wasn't having much luck myself until... Stickball is a fun activity that's sure to get your family off their phones and onto their feet to try something new. The traditional village shares cultural demonstrations illustrating Chickasaw life in the 1700s. One activity that's sure to please the artistic minded is their corn husk doll demonstration. It's an excellent way to experience how Chickasaw children entertained themselves hundreds of years ago before the age of Wi-Fi. Plus, it makes for a great one-of-a-kind souvenir for kids to treasure. And remember their special time visiting the Chickasaw Cultural Center. Archery demonstrations are typically given on the weekends in the spring, summer, or fall, or during one of their larger festivals throughout the year. <laughs> no, this is the arrow. The bow is upside down. Oh, okay. <laughs> Thank you. Put your uh, finger warning. Okay. Don't shoot anything except for that. Right. That's all I want to shoot at. Good point. Novice archers need not be intimidated, even when you're up against some tough yet tiny competition. Give me some tips. Wow, you've done this several times before. Good. I've done archery before, but I'm a little rusty, so I'm going to give it a shot. All right, here we go. <gasps> oh, wow, awesome. Let's try it again. One more time so I can hit the bullseye, okay. right? Let, let me go out. Okay. I got help. My next round, I didn't even get close to the bullseye. Oh, oh I got a bear. <laughs> all right, I'm good. Still got it. I don't know about you, but I'm starving after all this activity. You want to go eat? Yeah! All right. Wow, let's go. If you're hungry, look no further than the uh, Impa Cafe located right on the Chickasaw Cultural Center campus. A Impa, which means a place to eat, offers a wide selection of appetizers, entrees, kids meals, and desserts. What's special about the A Impa Cafe is that they feature traditional Chickasaw fare. So we just finished a jam-packed afternoon and I met some new friends, Randy and Jay Lee, and they took me to the cafe to meet up with Fran, who's gonna teach us a little bit about the food here and the traditional dishes, and we're gonna try some too. These are all Chickasaw-inspired food. We have our prosciutto corn right here with the grape dumplings. Mm -hmm. We have Native American tacos. Uh, we have the Three Sisters stew and the Three Sisters salad. Why is it called that? Okay. The Three Sisters stew consists of corn, beans, and squash, and they were all three grown together. The corn stalks would support the beans that were growing up around it, and then the squash was down at the bottom and helped serve as uh, proper pollination for the plants. So wow. all three would grow together. I like the name, and this is very good, and it's very healthy, too. I love that. Produce used in the dishes at the Ayimpa Cafe are organic so organic that they were actually harvested from the gardens right here on campus, which makes for some fresh flavors in all their dishes. Talk about farm to table. That's why it tastes so fresh. I mean, it's probably picked today. And for dessert, traditional grape dumplings. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Yes. This is good. This area right here is so important to the uh, success that we have here mm -hmm. on uh, enriching everybody in our history and culture. Food is a part of us. Mm -hmm. It's an actual part of our daily lives. We grew up eating food like this. So, and we wanna share this with the world. We wanna share this with everybody. I love that. Once we are finished eating, I stopped by to chat with another family also visiting the Chickasaw Cultural Center that day on their own family field trip. But we were getting to see all kinds of stuff I didn't know was here. The different cultures, the different sections of the Indian nations that are in Oklahoma is fascinating. Yeah. And fun, and I mean, this place is beautiful. 
After lunch, we delve into some Chickasaw history at the Jalisco, the Center for Study of Chickasaw History and Culture. Welcome. This is our Jalisco Research Center for the study of Chickasaw history and culture. Our first room here is the special collections room. A lot of neat items. We pulled these items from our collections in the archive downstairs. This is a dress from Bloomfield and a diploma. These were the original graduation gown. And the Chickasaws removed from the homelands. Education was really important to the Chickasaw people. And shortly after we moved here, we began establishing our schools. And Bloomfield was amongst one of the first to be started and run by the Chickasaw Nation. We have sections on individual Native American tribes, their languages, archaeology, the different archaeological sites. So there's quite a bit in our library. How would you find your own nation? So if you were interested in genealogy and you thought your ancestor was a citizen of one of the five tribes, then you can come to this facility and we will look up your ancestor on the Dawes Roll. This is my name, this is mom and dad, grandpa and grandma, and then you trace that back to someone that was living in Oklahoma before 1907, and then we can search for their names on the Dawes Roll. Learn more about genealogy and how to research your family tree, as well as historic Chickasaw documents, photos, and manuscripts right here at Jalisco, the Center for Study of Chickasaw History and Culture. So today I've got the honor of being with the Chickasaw Fluid Speaking Elders, and I am with Pauline, Virginia, and Rose, and they came out to talk to me and tell me a little bit about the Chickasaw language, so I'm excited to learn about it. Chi Chumase. Chi Chumase. You're so beautiful. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Chi Chumase to all of you, too. Uh, all of you are beautiful. I need to hang out here more. You were saying that you didn't speak English till six, and you didn't speak till you were four. Is that right? My mother uh, didn't want us to be speaking in English, and she said, "You're gonna eat at my table. You'll be talking in Chickasaw." You know, it was just all Chickasaw language. It was no English. So I went to school, no, not knowing how to speak uh, English. Stayed home when the rest of my brother and sister went to school, but we had neighbors. I got to play with the children. So my sister said, yeah, one day. So we come in from school and you were just speaking English. <laughs> <laughs> so, so the three of you now speak together, right? So yes, because you said can. a lot of your family is gone. So yes. do you ever talk about other people? You know? Oh, <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> you can easily do that, right? I could say, I know pretty slummy. You talk too much. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> could you teach me yes? E. 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 Like, that's yes. right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, okay. How about no? Kiyo. Kiyo. How about computer? Tele lupe. Tele lupe. Mm -hmm. lupe. lupe is your metal brain. Mm -hmm. Metal brain? Yeah. <laughs> metal <It's> brain. Kind of <laughs> like that's about right. Your, your I tell mind. my children not to go on the computer so much, I'm going to tell them not to go on the uh, yeah. metal, metal brain. brain. <laughs> <laughs> it's been a challenge too because yeah. we didn't have things like that then. Right, so you got your work cut out for you, That's all these right. new words you gotta come up with. You say thank you again. <laughs> thank you. Yakoke. Yakoke. So I would yakoke to all of you because this was quite an honor and um, just thank you for taking the time. This was great. You too, we thank you. Aw, thank you. After learning some history and a few Chickasaw phrases, it was time to team up with some new friends at the Apiza Art Gallery. I'm with Valerie Walters, and you're going to tell me a little bit about this exhibit. So right now at the Apisa, which Apisa actually means a place to see in our Chickasaw language, but right now it is a place to see a exhibit done by our cultural center team here, and it's actually an art exhibit. And what do we have over here? Over here we actually have a gourd that was painted by one of our employees. She, she painted a stomp dance scene. Beautiful. Yeah, she's done magnificent work. 
of course, we have a drum that has been created by one of our employees, a handmade drum. Then we have a bustle that one of our team members actually wears that when he dances, um, powwow style dancing. Wow. Yes, and that's made beautiful. That. He did make that, indeed. So oh, you have a lot we, of talent here. We do. We have an amazing group of folks here. Today we have Virginia with us, who is beating. Wow, this like looks like quite a lot of work. And how long does that take to create something like this? I can do one about a week. <gasps> wow. Do yeah. this. Is this how they traditionally did this for many, many years? Yes, they did. They used seeds, though. Big seeds, and they dyed them. And you send you a string. Wow, that's beautiful. Thank that's you. something you don't see Thank nowadays really much anymore. The art on display at the Apisa Art Gallery rotates every few months, so there's always something new to see. It was time to head outside to explore more of the beautiful Chickasaw Cultural Center campus. Kids young and old are welcome to play right in the Butterfly Garden, which opened in 2014. And it features whimsical statues, stunning flowers, and actual butterflies milling about. Now I'm with Thea and Rhonda, and they're from the Horticulture Department at Chickasaw Nation. And I am sitting here in a butterfly garden. I feel very relaxed right now. <laughs> But you have a lot to tell us about butterflies and how important they are to the world. What we're trying to do is educate all the patrons that come here to the Chickasaw Cultural Center. Like monarch butterflies who are almost on the endangered list. In the last 20 years, 90% of monarch butterflies have disappeared. The world doesn't really understand how important these pollinators are. They are how we, um, we have our food. They're our food source because without pollination, all of our food stops. Our vegetables cannot grow without this pollination, so it's really, really important. It's, it's life and death important. Milkweed habitats are planted along the monarch's migration path, which cuts right through Interstate 35 in Chickasaw Country. We have planted over 50,000 milkweeds on tribal properties. That's a lot, and that's great for the environment. We have seen more butterflies here on campus than we have in the last three years. We have a lot of schools that are very interested in it, other tribes, and just the general public. We call them our citizen scientists because we will give them uh, butterfly plants and they will take them home and plant them and then they'll come back in the summer and tell us how many butterflies they feel like they've benefited. It's wonderful. Yeah. It's a wonderful teaching opportunity. If you have kids or grandkids, they love to watch the caterpillars grow. They increase in size 2,000 times. It's wonderful to watch. It's a great love it. educational experience. It is. It and is. It's, if you do this, it's, it's wonderful for the world. It's what we need. Armed with some serious knowledge about butterflies, I then made my way over to the Spiral Garden, where the cultural center grows produce that is used daily in their popular Aimpa Cafe. Rhonda sat down with me again, joined this time by David, who handles the garden at the Chickasaw Cultural Center. Like the butterfly garden, one of the main goals of the Spiral Garden is to educate visitors. Spiral is a very important um, symbol for us here at the Chickasaw Nation. It kind of encompasses the idea of the never-ending journey of life. But the whole surrounding garden is a three-sister garden. It's a companion growing system where you grow corn, beans, and squash all in the same mound. And so this was one of our traditions hundreds of years ago, and we wanted to represent that to the world. And the corn, beans, and squash actually help each other. So the corn is the stalk for the bean. The bean releases the nitrogen for the corn and the squash is a shade plant that holds the moisture and the, and the weeds out. So it's a perfect oh, system. Well, when you pick this, it goes to the restaurant, right? Yes, all of our harvest that we have here that we get out of our spiral garden goes to our cafe. One key gardening tip that David has for visitors? You have to plant flowers within your garden and they always ask why and I tell them you can have perfect water, soil, and sunlight can be perfect but without the pollination of your plants, most of the time you will not get the fruit or veggies that come off your plants. That's what's going on with my garden. I didn't plant any flowers. <laughs> okay. Go. This is great. I've learned so much. Um, now I just want to go on a little walking tour. So would you go with me? Sure. Yes. All right, let's go.
There's so much to learn about gardening and connecting to the earth here at the Spiral Garden. Right on campus is the state-of-the-art Anoli Theater. The Anoli, a Chickasaw word that means to tell, features 350 seats and a 2,400 square foot movie screen. The theater features films that focus on the Chickasaw culture, other Native American tribal cultures, as well as box office favorites, new and old. One film visitors won't want to miss is First Encounter, a fascinating introductory film about Chickasaw history and culture. It portrays the first European contact with the Chickasaw people and how they earned their reputation as unconquered and unconquerable. Be sure to stop at the Anoli Theater where you and your family are sure to have a real good time. A short drive from the Cultural Center is the Chickasaw National Recreation Area. A scenic national park right here in Chickasaw Country. The park gates are open 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. Be sure to see Little Niagara, a waterfall that's a much smaller, more peaceful version of its larger namesake. And if you're lucky, you might even get to spot some bison in the bison pasture. Commonly known as buffalo, these gentle giants can be found grazing right here, and it's quite the sight to see in person. I don't know anything more American than apple pie. That is, until I heard about fried pies. Yep, you heard that right. Arbuckle Mountain Fried Pies make homemade pies from scratch at their location in Davis, Oklahoma, seven days a week. As my last stop in Chickasaw Country, of course I had to try a pie for myself. Hi, how are you? Good, welcome to Arbuckle Mountain Fried Pies. Oh my gosh, this is amazing. Look at all the pies. This is so exciting. How did this whole place come about? Well, it started here in 2003. I make the pies with uh, my great-grandmother's recipe, actually. Wow. Uh, have about... 50,000 pies a month go through here and about 12,000 people. That's crazy. That's amazing. And do you have a secret recipe or anything? Yeah, it's secret though. <laughs> <laughs> and while John won't budge on the secret recipe, he did give us an overview on how these scrumptious pies are created. Made right here at the pie make table. First the dough is rolled out into the pie form and then they add the filling and it's deep fried in 100% peanut oil. Apple is our most common, or our most popular. Then we have uh, Oklahoma made pecan. Cherry's my favorite. That's one of my favorites. Oh yeah. yeah. Took my trio of pies outside where I joined Oklahoma local Angel Green. Do you come here a lot? I do. I come here at least once a month. I travel about 80 miles to come. And I sit here and I enjoy my pecan pie. 80 miles? Yes. Just to come for this. Why? Yes. Why, why drive 80 miles for it is the best. Pie. It is the best fried pie I've ever had in my life. The pecan is like having Thanksgiving year round. Really? Yes. Okay. It's, it's okay. great. <laughs> I, it, it, <laughs> it falls, falls apart. apart. <laughs> and then it's just full of great, see? Oh my God. Incredible, isn't it? Mm -hmm. <laughs> It is phenomenal. In heaven. It's worth 80 miles. Oh, I can see why you drive 80 <laughs> exactly. miles now. This is excellent. It this is, is really good. It's so warm. I know. The filling is so good. It's so sweet. It is. And the people mm. here are just phenomenal. They're just so happy and always there to help you. And it's my it's my happy place. It's my happy place now too. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I thought I'd come by and say hi and see what you thought of the pies. What do you think, Frankie? Are they good? I'm guessing that's a yes. I think it's a yes. <laughs> oh my gosh. That's we just funny. met, but okay. Thank you. What is this? Um, Peach. Do you think I'll like it? Yeah. Yeah? Maybe. Mm. She does. That is really good. <laughs> Thank you for sharing. You're welcome. Can I have the rest of it? Yeah, can I just take it home with me maybe? She can I yeah. take your pie? Maybe. <laughs> I'm kidding. You get to keep your pie, okay? I'm going to go buy two of those for my little girls. I said goodbye to my new friends and got right back in line to order some to go for my family at home. Here's hoping they travel well. What a fun time we had in Chickasaw Country. We danced a traditional stomp dance, played the game of stickball, sampled some delicious Chickasaw food, 
learn some history and even some Chickasaw phrases from a few Chickasaw elders, shot some targets with a bow and arrow, and of course, devoured way too many fried pies. Thanks for watching Family Travel in Chickasaw Country. I'm Colleen Kelly. Enjoy making memories on your next family vacation. Yes, those are uh, some sort of Did you name him? No. <laughs> <laughs> Butter. Butter. Butter? Butter? <laughs> there you go. What's up, Hawk? Funding provided by... This show is sponsored by State Farm. When the unexpected happens, State Farm is here to help life go right. For more information on upcoming destinations and projects, visit FamilyTravelCK.com. Follow us on Twitter. Like us on Facebook. Follow us on Instagram. And check us out on Snapchat. We'd love to hear from you.